What's going on everybody? It's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm gonna be going over a few things. We have Madden 22 Superstar MVP news. We do have some Mutt Master news. We do have some Rookie Premier news. We have a few things I do want to go over. Some exciting news actually for a lot of you guys who do start Mutt at the beginning of the year. Before we get into the video, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, and give this video a big thumbs up as always. Can we get 25 likes in this video? Each and every like helps the channel grow, helps the, ch the videos do well. So if you guys watch and you guys like to see, you know, if you guys come here every day, smash the like button. It helps me out a lot. So go there real quick. It's right below. Subscribe if you're new. Let's keep growing. We want to get to 23K as quickly as possible. And yeah, let's get into this video, guys. So questions and answers here. Will there be a level master in Mutt this year? Level Master is being replaced by Season Champion, and there will be a new one each season. So that 91 overall free player you get from completing the Season Champion objectives, that will be the player as Level Master, and you get a new one each season, which I actually do like better. Because they give you one Level Master, if you don't A, like the player, or like the position, or like the stats, right? Like if you didn't like Sam Mills last year, or who was like, let's say, well, that's the Mutt Master, right? But if you don't like one of those guys, if you don't like Cam Chancellor, you're kind of stuck with them all year, and it's a waste. This way, you get a player that's 91 overall, who's relevant to the season, gonna be one of the best overalls during the season and then you go on to the next one keeps it fresh right because once you complete your level master it's like okay that big grind is done now is a new grind every season versus there being one big grind that you can get grinded out under a month and then be done with it right i like that so yeah that's gonna be pretty interesting there's a 91 overall player and then of course so on and so forth when will players receive their rookie premiere content for month now this is a good one too because in years past you didn't get your art your rookie premieres you didn't get any of your level up or any of the stuff pre-order until the day the madden launched officially the Mutt team is targeting to release Rick Premier during the EA Play Access period. So that means you will be getting your Rick Premiers early if this does go as planned. So you will be getting it during the, uh, the EA Access period, which I do like. Which makes more sense in other years more than this one. EA Access period is when your team's going to be the worst, right? You're maybe not auctioning too much. Maybe not even opening that many packs. You're just grinding out solos. It would have been nice to get your Rick Premiers in years past during that week so you could start them. Because once the game officially comes out and you get all your pre-order stuff, you don't usually start them. This year is different because your Rick Premiers are insane. Like Jamar Chase, Pitts, JC Horn, um, Micah Parsons, so on and so forth. These players are really good this year. So they're going to be starting. So you're going to get them nice and early, which makes you... You're going to have a lot of good seasons players right off the rip, right? Playing online seasons. So that's pretty good as well. Now let's get into all the players. You have the top five halfbacks and of course the Superstar MVP news. So for Superstar MVP... It's going to be a two-part promo, which they did reveal. So it's not going to be like the typical, you know, Night of Madden launch drop, and that's it. They're going to be revealing more stuff for it as well pretty soon, but it is a two-part promo. And Saquon Barkley is confirmed for the second part. So they only showed us some cards. They're going to be even more cards. Some more for probably the first part, some more for the second part. But that does mean we're going to have a pretty nice extensive promo for the, at least the first week of Madden. Now, will this drop during EA Play? Probably not. It's usually a launch night promo. But that does mean we have content off the rip, which is always exciting. Superstar MVP is always a fun promo. Let's get into the top five basically backs in Madden 22. Coming in at number five, we have Saquon Barkley. Now, I did not expect this one. I Talent-wise, I think he's like the number one back, but this is Madden. Saquon never has a top five card, and he was hurt last year, but he, does get, he gets a move up. 84 overall for Saquon Barkley. Always one of the best basically backs regardless of his overall. 86 speed, 85 excel, 87 agility. Going to be one of the most athletic backs in the game. 79 carrying, 68 catching, 85 change of direction, 75 trucking, 80 break tackle. Break tackle combined with his high, pretty high weight, going to be a great next-gen back for Madden 22. The only concern I have with Saquon Barkley, he gets a superstar MVP card literally the same week, and that MVP card is going to be the best back in the game. So if you want to power him up, you're going to need this card anyway. So this Saquon Barkley guys could actually hold some pretty good resale value right off the rip. Uh, if you pull him out of packs, just resell him real quick, or if you can snipe him out early enough. But overall, still going to be a good card if you can't afford the MVP card. Next, we have Dalvin Cook at number four. So far, so good. 85 speed, 86 acceleration, 88 agility, 86 agility, sorry. 77 carrying, 67 catching, 86 change of direction, 68 trucking, 83 break tackle. In my opinion, Saquon's better than him. Dalvin's better overall. Saquon's more athletic than him, has a better carry than him. Just overall, pretty much a better car if you come back here. Better catching, similar change of direction, but he's better speed, similar excel, better agility. They're actually very, very close, but Saquon's a better trucker and I believe has more weight, if I'm not mistaken. But overall, very similar cards, but Dalvin's slow, which is going to hurt him, of course. It's just how it is to start the year. But Dalvin's not bad. Number three, though, we have Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb, going to be a you know great power back, of course. 85 speed, 84 excel, 75 agility, 86 carrying. So he's way better at carrying the ball in terms of you know not fumbling versus Saquon or Dalvin. 62 catching, 74 change of direction, 86 trucking, 88 break tackle. He's north-south. 
very, very much, you can see it by the stats. He's not going to be doing a bunch of juking. He's not going to be swerving people. A north-south back. But again, north-south backs are great for the beginning of the year because not many people have great tackling linebackers. They don't have crazy abilities. It's a good, it's easy time, especially with the way next-gen plays to just fall forward and get your guaranteed yards. So Nick Chubb's not a bad day one option. Although I still like, like I said, I still like Saquon a little bit better in terms of the well-roundedness. But we have to see how the weight plays into everything. Number two, we have Christian McCaffrey looking super well-rounded here. 85 speed. A little bit slower than Saquon. 86 Excel, though. That's really good. 88 Agility. Really good. 87 Carrying. So he's going to be like Saquon and Dalvin with insane carrying. So that's actually impressive because that, again, I'm hoping in the beginning of the year that could make or break if they do make fumbling more uh, prevalent this year than it was last year. 79 Catching. So powered up. He's going to have right off the rip at 80 Catching already, which is threshold right there. So he's going to be insane at catching the ball to start the year. 86 change of direction is really good as well. 51 trucking is really low. And then 80 break tackle is good enough. And of course, he does come with route apprentice off the bat, which was confirmed. So Christian McCaffrey could be a day one stud, right? He may not be, he may not be, you know, MVP Barkley, but the ability combined with the well-roundedness of McCaffrey, he will be a great receiving back, a great running back, great all around. And he's not going to be fumbling, which is also very, very important. Coming in at number one, though. We have Derek Henry, which we kind of expected right now. Who got who got snubbed? We'll talk about that in just a moment. But Derek Henry is an 86 speed, so he's gonna be tied for fastest of the top five backs, which is impressive because Henry never gets that speed. 82 excels pretty low. 77 agility is really low. 87 carrying though. Once again, like McCaffrey, he's up there with carrying. 58 catching. 72 change of direction. 88 trucking. 88 break tackle. Powered up with strategy cards. Above 90 trucking and above 90 break tackle. Six foot three. 245 whatever like he's gonna be if next gen plays like last year's next gen he's going to be a crazy day one north and south runner now i have to see because from the beta it did look like juking and change of direction everything wasn't as important at the time again it was the beta things are much slower then so we can't exactly relate it to that but i do know one thing if it's like last year derrick henry could be one of the best day one cards even over superstar if barkley because the speed may not matter as much if it comes down to trucking and break tackle if top and speed is not important like that right off the rip but Henry looks good. Again, the catching is really low. Again, if, you, if you're comparing to McCaffrey, right, it's like, would you rather the, the, the power? Would you rather the well-roundedness, right? But he's very close. It's like, take away McCaffrey's excel, agility, and change of direction, and add it to trucking and break tackle and plus one speed, right? Typically, I've been the guy to lean away from trucking. But next gen's different. It, it, it's, a different it's a different play style. But that is everyone. So we have Saquon, Dalvin, Chubb, McCaffrey, Henry. Who are the snubs? Obviously, Kamara and Aaron Jones. Although I didn't think Aaron Jones deserved the top five personally, talent wise. Um, but I do think Kamara's up there. Alvin Kamara did get snubbed. He's been snubbed in Madden for a long time. This isn't anything new. Kamara typically gets like 82 overall cards. That's just how it goes. Now, based on this list with uh, Saquon being an 84, I do think Kamara could also be an 84, maybe an 83. So he won't be too far behind. Same with Aaron Jones. But overall, it's a pretty good list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, comment down below. Let me know who's your favorite, who's your day one back? Who are you rocking with day one of Madden 22? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.